Welcome back. One of the great things as you wander around EMP is that the exhibits kind of tumble out together, mm -hmm. one spilling over into the next. And it's been designed to help people make connections from one concept to another. In some cases, it can be subtle, but in the case of our next piece, it's overwhelming. So folks, for this experience, which is the result of brilliant high-tech ingenuity, you get in, hold on, and ride the funk. Inside the Cutting Edge Theatre, you're surrounded by sound and vision, a 24-channel audio system and an enormous clamshell movie screen featuring the stunning 70mm film Funk Blast. The 38 people strapped into the motion platform aren't so much watching a movie as they are right inside it. It's enough to move even a veteran musician like Herbie Hancock. Oh, it was a rush. It was, it was great. You know, I, I love the, the feeling of the, the air rushing towards you as you're taking this ride. I mean, you really get the sense that it is a ride, you know, and it's thrilling. We've combined, I think, state-of-the-art technology um, with these incredible musicians. The story follows two lost boys who are taken on a trip to the heart of the funk. Enter the hip-shaking, digitized godfather of soul, James Brown, circa 1969, and the year 2000, courtesy of the titanic talents at Digital Domain. And their mission? To create a photo real, convincing human being. That really is the holy grail of computer animation. With, with lasers and infrared sensors, we put little reflective dots all over Mr. Brown's face, and he performed the song again. And the computers tracked in three dimensions the movement of each individual little dot all over his face. We were able to take that data and then apply it to the computer-generated version of Mr. Brown when he was 30 years old. The computer-generated James Brown joined a cast of over 200 live-action characters for a funk block party on the Paramount backlot. It's kind of otherworldly, and I think that's precisely the, the mood that we were going for when we were making uh, the film. And you do ride the music. You go into the music and meet the musicians in a way that is just not possible anyplace else. There's no way that you're ever going to see this uh, amalgamation of musicians and technology ever again. Funk Blast is just the first in a series of artist journeys, all designed to totally immerse people in the sights, sounds, and the very soul of music. Now, if that didn't give you the funk, I'm not sure what will. And you know, Sumi, so much of EMP is designed to actually inspire those that come here. Those who get inspired to pick up an instrument and play can do it right here in the sound lab, even if they can't play a lick. Sound Lab is a place where you get to put your hands on the instruments and you play with rock and roll. You actually accomplish and do fun and musical and educational and sensory experiences in here with the musical instruments. Learning to make music has never been so easy as dozens of computers with friendly interfaces put people in touch with their musical selves. Visitors discover everything from ancestral rhythms to the thrills of walking on stage at a sold-out show. On stage is uh, all about the experience of performing live at a concert, at a big concert. And uh, the lights kick in, the crowd shows up, and the music starts blasting away at them and they get to rock out to Wild Thing. We're pumping in about, about a little over 100 decibels in here, so it's full concert volume. The fact that there's surround sound of people screaming at you, just at you, there's an emotional response that's unbelievable. Of course, if you're not quite ready for the bright lights, you can always hole up in one of 12 sound pods to practice and explore on your own. Or you can join in a spontaneous jam. 
We're in the uh, jam room. We have five jam rooms, and what we're doing here is just giving you instruments to play with, and you can play as loudly as you like because you're in a soundproof room. You can play this really interesting instrument called the pole pad. Sound Lab uses a technology known as MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface. A computer analyzes the notes as you play, giving you prompts and extra practice time when it senses you've made a mistake. We call them experiences. Electromechanical interactives, where we are integrating PCs and samplers and electronics with LED lights, touch screens, electronic drums. The Sampling Interactive has uh, the capacity to sample your voice, Andrea, and then enter it into the keyboards to make music with your voice. And so what's fun about that is we also teach you about digital audio. Like so much of the EMP, Sound Lab uses technology to demystify the musical process. But a visit here is more. It illuminates a path of self-discovery, a journey to the muse within each of us. Coming up next, taking in the EMP online.